Hello everyone, it's Hannah Atkinson here from WTF1 and no Rowan is not my dad. So once again there is not a washed up has been presenting this all seasons rubbish from one of the worst F1 YouTubers out there. Anyway, welcome to F123 where once again the hookster will be starting at the back of the grid in a rubbish car. Ah, but wait, will he well stay tuned to find out and yes it's bound to be crap. So the hookster is always going on about the fact I said I started watching F1 in 2021 after watching Drive to Survive and not having any real knowledge of Formula One. Well, let me tell you, I know what Max Verstappen has for lunch and where he buys his shoes and how many tennis rackets Lance Stroll has in his cupboard. So beat that hookster. I walked into this sound booth and there is a picture of me hung up on the wall. How much of a sad act is this guy? He asked me out 10 times and I said if I was on a deserted island and he was the only male there, I would still only go out with a coconut as long as his name was Wilson. And just to let you know guys, the hookster had a video planned about me doing the esports series, but YouTube took it down because he broke their drool machine. He is such a sad act, I bet he hasn't even seen a real woman in his life. Anyway, I am off now to post some more on Instagram that no doubt he will have a sore thumb from liking all the pictures the summer ones are the worst, you sad, pathetic little man. Uh I'm, I'm confused. Is that a yes or a no for the date then? Uh, hello everyone and welcome back to the All Seasons on F123. Yes, this is the start of Season 3 and we're about to nominate our second car that we're going to use for the championship. Which means from this point onwards, we are now going for the World Championship. Now we've already selected for fa- 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 Ferrari. That's going to be one of our nominated cars if we don't win the championship in our next nominated car, which is coming up right now. Can you guess which one's going to be? Come on, come on. Which one's it going to be? Is it going to be Mercedes? Are we going to go in Mercedes? No, of course not. Now, we could go for Aston Martin, but that looks like I think they're going to drop down the field at some point. So we are going to go. Yes, you've probably guessed it already because you've seen the beginning of the video. We're going for McLaren. Yes, we're going for a low ball off because we really 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 want this drive yes yeah, really want this drive we're sending demands and we've got it we have signed for mclaren and we are going to go for the whole of the season as a mclaren driver yes because we're going for the championship now we've also got some more perk funds yes no still no bloody grid girls where are the grid girls for god's sake that would really spice f1 up wouldn't it We'll go for power mapping. Anyway, here we are then in our gorgeous McLaren car. And we are third from the top in the vehicle performance comparison chart just above Ferrari. Yes. Fantastic. So it's time now to end the season from last year and start our season three of the all seasons on f1 23 as you can see we dropped out of fourth now ferrari have actually overtaken us in the figure performance but anyway here's the season it's been completed we actually did win the championship yes but as i said last week we are going to carry on because we were actually level pegging with maxi boy verstappen okay once again we're going to select 24 tracks and yes yes okay We'll put Hungary back on the calendar, for God's sake, and get rid of Paul Richard. Yes, buddy Paul Richard. I think it's just as bad, to be honest. Oh, oh, this is a first for the all seasons. We can actually have driver number one for our car because we did actually win it. Oh, my goodness. Fantastic.
So here we are then in our beautiful Papaya McLaren, although I did prefer it when they were red and white. So here we are in the Technology Center once again. Yes, it looks pretty much like all the others. They've certainly had a downgrade on these uh, computer screens, haven't they? They really have, and there's no screens above anymore. I think it's outrageous. I don't know what all these cutbacks are about, but it's not good. Uh, hello, sir. How are you doing? What, what, oh, he's just typing away. He's completely... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This chap's had enough. He's off. This chap's had enough. He's, he's quit McLaren and he's going. He says, nope. Nope. The hookster's here now. I'm out of here. Yes, that's it. He's had enough. <laughs> Fantastic. I always could clear a room very, very quickly. <laughs> so let's have a look at the driver moves then. Yes, the hook is moving to McLaren, replacing Lando Norris. Ocon has been signed to McLaren, replacing Piastri. And Lando Norris is moving to our... <laughs> Fantastic. Anyway, process has been completed. We've got some more lovely resource points. Yes, 1,599. Development boots have been applied to the brakes, to the rear downforce, and to the engine power as well. Wowzers, me trousers. So here we are for round one at Bahrain, underneath the floodlights, we cross the line, it's second place at the moment, only two tenths off the leader, wowzers, absolute wowzers, as we accelerate forward now to a little bit later into qualifying, you can see, in fact, we didn't actually improve on our second run, so this is our final run, and we're down to 17th position, but we are sort of just shy of half a second where we were, we just lost a little bit there, this might get us into, I don't know, 15th place, I don't, like, 40, 40 position at the moment. Well, that's not bad, but qualifying is almost over as we accelerate forward now. And qualifying is, is now over. We've dropped out of 16th place now, and we're not going to improve because our delta time is down. So it's going to be 16th or lower for our first round in Bahrain. Yes. Oh, it's 16th, 16th. So pretty disappointing qualifying but i'm sure we'll do better in the race because we always do checo perez got pole position george 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 and russell got second our own teammate got 11th and we ended up in 16th position oh dear oh dear oh dear okay then let's do this no more testing no more practice this is the real deal and it's make or break here at round one of this year's formula one world championship there's no shortage of passing opportunities around the 3.36 miles of the Bahrain International Circuit. With the best, of course, at Turn 1 and then another soon after into Turn 4. 15 corners here, 6 to the left and 9 to the right. And we could see one or two flat spots into the tight left-hander of Turn 10. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Sergio Perez will lead us away from pole position. And starting next to them is George Russell. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Verstappen, Liam Lawson, Sainz, Hamilton, Leclerc, Gasly, Norris, Bottas, Ocon, Stroll, Ricardo, Albon, Sonoda, Hollywood, Joe, Magnussen, Sargent, and Nico Hulkenberg rounds off the grid. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. I'm joined by Anthony Davidson at the start of a new season, and it is a clean slate. Absolutely anything is possible right now. We're into those tense few minutes before the first race then. Everyone's a little bit nervous about reliability. They haven't been running in the hot, turbulent wake of other cars in practice. And they've not been pushing at 100% for long durations. Let's hope no one has to deal with any nasty... So it's time once again for the five lights to go out on the all seasons clear mode. We say go, 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 and it's away uh, we go. Wow, great start off the line. Look at this rocket ship start. In fact, straight past Albon, straight past Lance Stroll, straight past a huge amount of cars as we're trying for the whole of the track limits here. We're going to go for a move into Hamilton into turn one, and we're going to get through. Oh my goodness gracious, bloody good gold. We have done it up into sixth position. We get a warning for position with Perez. We're not going to worry about that, and we continue on, and we've got past our own team mate as well it's another fantastic performance from the guy that never gives up and 
never surrenders, don't you know, don't you know. We've got Perez in front of us. He's got Charles Leclerc just in front of him as well. We've got a little bit of a sandwich going on. This is a great opportunity for us to try and get past these cars in the opening stages of the Grand Prix. Oh, we got a little bit wide there on the exit. Of course, if we don't catch them now, they're probably going to fly off into the distance. And our own teammate is attacking. Look at that. Esteban Ocon is asserting his authority on who is the number one driver in the team. And he's trying to say, it's not you, Hookster. No, you young little upstart. He says, it's me. So anyway, we carry on. Still the first lap of the Grand Prix. And in fact, Pierre Gasly, Pierre Gasly has got past um, Ocon. Yes, Ocon. So he is now the car behind us. Because, of course, Ocon lost a little bit of ground there trying to get past us. Anyway, we've almost completed the first lap of the Grand Prix. The floodlights are beaming those neon lights at us. It's fully dark at, at the desert, yes, and we're about to complete the first lap. Still in sixth position at the moment. A great start off the line for Nookster, as always, as always. His qualifying position really doesn't matter these days because he can just get an absolute rocket ship start and make his way up the field. So that's the end of lap one. George the Russell puts in the fastest lap. So he must be the leader of the Grand Prix. We cross the line, still in sixth position and still chasing Checo Perez at the moment. Oh my goodness gracious, look at that. That was an audacious move there for Nukster. Almost plowed straight into the back of Sergio Perez, but he holds on to it and continues on. So we accelerate forward now to lap two, just going to lap three now. Still in sixth position, we're 1.6 seconds behind Sergio Perez. We've got the DRS, but unfortunately we're out of the DRS range and Gasly's still behind us, just shy of just uh, under half a second at the moment as we accelerate forward now oh my goodness Grand New Joe is out of the session Grand New Joe is out just look at the mini map yes his car is parked up there as you can see so Grand New Joe is no more in this Grand Prix and we're still on to the, on the sixth position but we're now three and a half seconds behind Checo Perez so a little chance of actually being able to catch Sergio Perez as we accelerate forward now to lap five. Oh, we get a little bit of bump in there from the car behind. It's our own teammate, Esti Besti. He's trying desperately to get past right the outside of us as we go into this turn and wows us. We just managed to hold on to it there. And now he's getting more pressure from Pierre Gasly behind. I think he's got past him again. Is he best Pierre? I'm not quite sure. They're sort of left. No, I. Ocon is actually there in front of Pierre Gasly. Fantastic performance there. Absolutely fantastic. As we accelerate forward out to lap five, he's going to lap six. Once again, our teammate Esti Besti is going for a move. He doesn't want the number one driver to get all the glory, so he's going for his own glory, and he doesn't care that he's our own teammate. As we go into turn one, we do give the space to Esti, but we hang on to this sixth position at the moment. As we accelerate forward out to lap eight, just going past the pits going into lap nine once again Esteban Ocon is behind us we actually can't catch Sergio Perez he's almost 10 seconds up the road now so the best position we're going to get in this Grand Prix I think is going to be sixth place and SD Bestie is still chasing behind and Hamilton's in set eighth position he's on the hard tyres he's going to go for the extraordinary long runs we accelerate for lap nine just going into lap 10 the pit stop window has opened in fact cars have already come in for a stop so we have accelerated up into fourth position now still behind Perez Lawson's currently got the uh, fastest lap He's in the Aston Martin, of course. Great performance from Liam Lawson as we accelerate for that lap 10. So we'll be come for our stop from fourth position at the moment. Going to lose a lot of places, though, because cars are going to go past us. We're going to come in once again for the yellow sidewall tyre. The harder tyre for the rest of this remaining stint. Thank you, lads. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Don't hold me, don't hold me. Oh, I think there's a slight hold there behind the Williams, I do believe. Uh, possibly about half a second hold. Uh, the pit stop time was good. It was 2.3 seconds, but I do believe we had a little hold there as we came out of the pits. And there's cars going past us. There's two cars gone past. One is a Mercedes. I'm not quite sure who that is. If that's Lulu Hamilton. Yes, it is. It's Lulu. Is it Lulu or is it Jules? No, it's, uh, it's Lulu. It's Lulu. He's gone past. And he's actually changed from the hard tyre now onto the medium tyre. So he didn't actually go that long in that run that I was expecting. But he's ahead of us as we accelerate for that lap 11. Going past the pits, we've got our own teammate. He's coming, SD Bestie, and we get past him and go back into seventh position. But we have definitely lost ground and we've lost one place to Lulu Hamilton, who's currently in front of us in sixth position, 1.6 seconds up the road as we accelerate forward down to lap 14. And unfortunately, we couldn't catch Lewis Hamilton, so we have lost the position. Down now to seventh. We've got Valtteri Bottas behind us somewhere. I can't actually see him in the rear view mirror, but he's there somewhere. 
it says 1.6 seconds, but I think the gap's a little bit more than that as we accelerate for another lap 17. In the final stages of this Grand Prix, you can see we're holding the seventh place. Hamilton's now 4.4 seconds ahead of us, so we've got no chance of catching him, but we are now ahead of our own teammate, sort of half a second in front of SD Bestie there. As we're going into the final stages, oh, we've got a yellow flag, yellow flag. Just look at the mini map. Let's see what's going on. What is going on? Is there a car slowing down? There is a car slowing down. It looks like it may be an Alpine, I do believe. Is it an Alpine? So I think it's Pierre. It is. It's Pierre Gasly. Oh, mon dieu, Pierre. Mon dieu. Senna Bleuf. I don't know what that said. Anyway, we accelerate forward now to lap 20. It's the last lap of the race. And George the Russell has won the race. And we are going to finish in an 12 quite disappointed I have to say seventh position for our first round but anyway it's a very very long season of 23 rounds so I'm sure we can improve as we go through the season but we cross the line in seventh position well done Hookster. well done indeed more importantly than that though we got ahead of our teammate which is very very important and we get driver I think I deserved that to be honest I think I deserved that driver of the day as well that's it so there you go then, there's the Mercedes mechanic boys and girls congratulating themselves and there's the winner of the race, it's George, George, George of the Russell, watch out for that tree! Yes, there he is. <laughs> oh God. Yes, there he is. And he's congratulating himself with his own team, well done to you. And there is the beautiful Bahrain circuit with those floodlights once again. I wonder how much electricity they use, quite a bloody lot I would have thought, but who cares, it's Formula One, yes. The home of the rich and shameless. They don't care. They'll just burn it, all the electricity of the earth up. Just so long as it lights up the circuit. Because that's all that matters. Yes, that's all that matters. Anyway, so there he is then. There's George the Russell with his trophy. Saying, yes, I've done it. I've done it, lads. Well done indeed. It's time now for the champagne. <laughs> And there's Liam Lawson in the Aston Martin. Wowzers. I hope that car doesn't get very competitive. Anyway, let's have a look at the replays now and see what happened to Gwen Ujo. Of course, oh, and it's an engine failure for his Alfa Tori car. Gwen Ujo is out of the Grand Prix and he's always oh, holding up the car behind that Hus driver. Uh, that was Holkenberg, I do believe. He was holding up a little bit there. But anyway, he pulls off the circuit with an engine failure for Gwen Ujo. Joe, let's have a look now at uh, Pierre Gasly. Is it going to be an engine failure for Pierre? Oh, it is for Pierre. He's battling with the Williams there. It's, it's a moot point now because his engine has gone. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you later, fly guy. Yes. And he's going all over the circuit there, trying to pull off, but he does manage. Oh, it, I thought he was on the circuit there, but now he's on the escape road. So well done to Pierre Gasly for not finishing the race. Anyway, so we got six points in that round. SD Bestie got four. George and Russell actually won the race. And in the championship, which is pretty academic at this stage, you can see that we are 19 points behind George of the Russell at the moment. SD Bestie is 21 points and Max Verstappen is currently in second position with Liam Lawson in the Aston Martin in third place with 16 world championship points. And we're fifth in the constructors as we move on to the next round of the championship now. Oh my goodness. We're spec free for everything in the aero, the chassis, the powertrain and the durability. And we're still in fourth position at the moment in the vehicle performance comparison chart. Anyway, it's time now to complete our supercar. It's the marvel of the age. Supercar. We get a silver in our... Did you like that? Did you like that singing? We get a silver in our McLaren 720S. Practice has once again been completed and we've now got 2,976 points development boost applied to the DRS, to the engine power and to the energy recovery system. I just cannot believe it. I just cannot believe it. Well, you know what they say, it's always better at Jeddah. And here we go then for our first qualifying run. And as you can see, it's second place at the moment. Wowzers, me trousers, just behind Maxi Boy for Stappen. I cannot believe it. What a turnaround as we accelerate forward now to uh, just under seven minutes left of qualifying. In fact, we have abandoned that qualifying run. We're in seventh place at the moment. 
but we didn't improve as we accelerate forward now. Just 29 seconds left to qualify, still in seventh place, and we haven't improved on our time. No. But are we going to go for a final run before the end? The answer to that is yes, we did. We're in ninth place, but look at the time. Look, we are 1.1 seconds up, and we're think. What was that? What was that? I can't believe it. It was pole. It was pole position. Oh my goodness. Where did he pull that out of the hat? He just carried on going. The qualifying was already over, but he's got it. Pole position with a 125.886. Almost three quarters of a second. So here we are then, welcoming you today to one of the jewels of the Arab world, Jeddah, one of the biggest cities in Saudi Arabia, second only to Riyadh, gateway to Mecca, one of the biggest ports in the region, and now host to the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. So let's take a look at the topographical map of the Jeddah Street Circuit. As you can see, a number of challenging corners for the drivers to master here. We'll see just how much the teams have benefited from their time spent in practice this weekend. And like many street circuits, this track has the potential to punish drivers that get it wrong. Let's hope we avoid any safety cars today. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. Hollywood lines up on pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Verstappen, Sainz, Russell, Norris, Liam Lawson, Leclerc, Gasly, Bottas, Ricardo, Stroll, Ocon, Albert, Magnussen, Sonoda, Joe, Sargent, Nico Hulkenberg rounds off the grid. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. And Anthony Davidson joins us for this one. And great to have your company. There's no weather to worry about here. What will be going through the drivers' minds as they finish these last minute preparations? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the rundown into turn one. A bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It will keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build to... So it's time once again for the five lights to go out on the All Seasons clear. Go, 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 go. And it's go we go from pole position from first place. There's going to be a lot of looking back, I do believe, in this race. So as we can see, we're coming into turn one. We've got a, a Mercedes directly behind us, but we've managed to hold on to the lead. And it's Hamilton. Hamilton in second place. Perez is in third position. And Verstappen on the hard tyre. Very, very curious uh, sort of choice to start on a hard tyre, I have to admit. But there he is in fourth position and we are still in the lead at the moment Lulu Hamilton though is looking very very racy behind us as you can see from these uh, replay shots you can see just how fast this circuit is this is the fastest street circuit on the calendar in fact in most people's opinions the fastest circuit on the calendar now even overtaken uh, the classics like Monza and uh, Bar uh, Belgium as well so we will see we will see but anyway still in the lead at the moment for the Uxa and it's just two tenths up on Hamilton but he's already going for moves I can just see in the rear view mirror there trying to get past us we're both on the soft tyre so we really haven't got any sort of advantage or disadvantage between each other and Hamilton is oh look Hamilton's got like a look at how fast they are going this is unbelievable absolutely unbelievable it looks like they're going at 2,000 miles an hour it's a very fast circuit and it's a circuit that Hookster actually loves he's, he's growing to love it and you can see by the results how he loves it so much because on the circuits that he loves he does very very well indeed at the moment you look at this he managed to go straight into the middle there to block two cars from going past as we're about to finish the first lap of the Grand Prix still holding to the lead at the moment Checo Perez is in second place Hamilton's in third position and of course we get the fastest lap as we accelerate for that lap two just going to lap three still oh and we get another fast well we did for a second there but Lulu overtook us and now Charles Leclerc has as well as the DRS has now been enabled Hamilton in second place no in fact Hamilton oh they're, they're swapping and changing all over the show Hamilton is at the moment in second position Perez in third we've got some flags coming out there's some flags coming out what's going on look at the mini map there's a car slowing down there's a car it looks like a hus it's a hus car I do believe is he stopping or is he got no he stopped he stopped on the circuit and it's Nico Hulkenberg Nico Hulkenberg is out and the virtual safety car has been deployed as well oh my goodness so we've all got a 
slow down to virtual safety car speeds and now it's ending it's all over and we can resume again yes drs has now been enabled again straight after the virtual safety car and we return to racing speeds still the lead of this race but look at this lulu's taking the opportunity to go around the outside of us and we've got a car coming down the inside i do believe that chaco perez we're going for a little bit of a sandwich here a little bit of a sandwich we do a little squeeze but we still give him enough space and we hold on to this first position at the moment as we accelerate forward now to lap five just going into lap six i do believe still in the lead from sergio perez hamilton still in first position and with the gap is almost just over half a second now between us and checo perez which is great news for us as we accelerate for lap eight and it's time for us to make our pit stop so we pit from the lead we pit from the lead of this grand prix hopefully this is going to be a nice fast pit stop so we can come out again and get back into the lead of this race always a lot of cars coming in a lot of cars coming in anyway in we come for the yellow side wall tire thank you lads thank you yes change on the tire and go 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 no go 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 what's going oh, no i don't believe it we're getting held the whole the field has gone past us i do believe this is absolute disaster we must have lost at least one minute there in the pits at least a minute maybe even a minute and a half and we're down to 14th position for fuck's sake i don't believe it we were in the lead and we've dropped out to 14th place as we come out and rejoin behind Pierre Gasly. Pierre Gasly. Oh my God. As we accelerate for that lap nine and the hookster is absolutely incandescent. We've waited the moment he's going on the outside. Oh, it goes straight into the back of Lulu. Hamilton. In fact, Lulu's parking the bus right in the middle of the track and won't let us pass. But we do get past Pierre Gasly. So up into 13 position at the moment. I think we've got to pass all these cars, you know. I think we have there's hamilton he's well he's weaving all over the circuit and let's see if we can go around the outside of him yes we do another position gained up into 12 position at the moment charles leclerc is now our next target on lap nine is there any cars coming in for a pit stop yes there is so thankfully we're going to get a few more positions out of this hopefully get up into the points again once again and we go past the pits and yes we've done it we're up into sixth position sixth position but we were in the lead of this race this car's coming out of the pits it's liam lawson it's russell now we've got leclerc as well this is going to be an absolute clusterfuck an absolute clusterfuck but looks like carries on what's he gonna do he's gonna oh no he tried to on Liam Lawson but he there's no space as we so for the lap 10 here's Lawson he's going for Lawson I do believe oh wow that was very very close almost lost the whole of his left side of the car there if he'd have gone into the barrier we've got our own teammate Esteban Ocon as we accelerate for the lap 11 Lawson still in front of us and once again we make a little bit of contact this time Carlos Sainz and the Ferrari is coming out of the pits this could be our opportunity to try and see if we can get past and Lawson's blocking us he's blocking us we're going down the inside of Liam Lawson and yes we get past up into sixth position now yes anyway we accelerate for that lap 11 we got Sainz we got Leclerc we got Russell all three of rest now into turn one what we're going to do what we're going to do and we're going to see if we can get past Carlos Sainz we're going around the outside and Jordan and Russell is there as well so another position is gained as we sell it for the lap 12 and Jordan and Russell we're going for a move are we going to do it yes once again now up into fourth position the hookster is still incandescent with rage at that stupid pit stop and look at that that was a move of the century from the hookster there wowzers straight past charlie boy leclerc up into third position now next target is checo perez as we accelerate for a lap 13 lap 13 we're going to see if we can outbreak checo perez into turn one and we have made to do so we give him the space and we now are in second position well we're not going to catch maxi boy he's now 8.2 seconds ahead of us but we are going to consolidate this absolutely disastrous pit stop and finish the race hopefully in second position which i will take but i'm still very bloody annoyed at that stupid pit stop where we got held for so long in the pits we really did lap 16 just two more laps to go after this one and we're still in second position at the moment as we accelerate forward down to lap 16 as you can see still on lap 16 and this time charles leclerc's trying to get around the outside of us we go very very wide and he's got us he has got us but he's got no drs i do believe we have and drs as well so this should be an easy re-overtake for us if we can just stop blocking us thank you very much charles and we go past the start and finish line into turn one and we retake the second place that we've had for quite a few laps in this Grand Prix already as we accelerate for that lap 18 it's the last lap and that's it the race is over Maxi Boy has crossed the line we are going to finish in second position but that could have been a win but it bloody well wasn't as we cross the line in second place yes, wowzers me trousers what can I say apart from the fact that we've lost six points there or maybe eight points I can't remember 
but we've lost points anyway and we could have had that win okay so there are the team mechanics at Red Bull congratulating themselves like they always do well done lads well done indeed and there's the winner of the race it was Max Verstappen yes it should have been us we were robbed we were absolutely mugged there absolutely mugged but anyway congratulations to Maxi Boy for winning the race and there is once again underneath the floodlights and the gorgeous Jetta circuit and there's Maxi Boy doing the walk of shame yes but not for him because he won the race well done Maxi well and there's Hookster there he is look in second place look Wow, still 39 years old and still getting podiums. Fantastic. Well done to Maxi Boy Verstappen. There's his team mechanics. And there's the champagne going over everyone, including Adrian Newey, of course, will not be with that team in 2025. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Is the dream over for Red Bull? We will find out. Anyway, the replay now. Let's have a look and see what happened to Hulkenberg. I think this is going to be an engine failure. He's already in last place anyway, to be fair. And is his engine going to explode? Is it going to explode? I'm not quite sure. With we're, we're waiting. Yes, there it goes. The engine has let go on the husk car, and that's it. Game over for Hulkenberg. There he goes. He pulls off next to the marshal's post. Let's have a look at our disastrous pit stop then. And as you can see, so we come into the pits. We are in the lead of the race. Everything looks swimming. We've got cars now coming in behind us. And this is where it all goes Pete Tong because lots of these cars are actually going to come past us trying to get into their own pit box. Anyway, in we come. Changing on to the yellow sideboard tyre. Thank you, lads. And you can see, look at the amount of cars that... Look, they've actually... In fact, we've got to wait for the Alpine as well, which came in miles behind us. Miles behind us. That is absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. That needs to be addressed, FIA. Needs to be addressed because we lost a huge amount of time there. And we would have won the race, but we didn't. So there you go there. Maxi Boy won it. And he got the fastest lap as well. But we got 18 points. So in the championship now, we're in fourth position. 20 points behind Maxi Boy Verstappen. who has got 44 points. George the Russell's in second place with 33 points. And Charles Leclerc's in third with 25 World Championship points. And in the constructors, we're now in fourth position. Well, there you go. Another exciting episode. The all-season has been completed. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. You have been awesome, as always. And yes, of course, there will, of course, be more later.